So what are factors? Factors are the numbers that form a whole number by multiplication. 12 can be formed by 1 times 12. It can also be formed by 2 times 6. You can see two rows of 6. It is also 12. It can also be formed by 3 times 4. Three rows of 4. You also get a 12. Okay. So we can rewrite 12 in this way. 12 is 1 times 12. It is 2 times 6. 3 times 4. If we count from 1 to 3, actually it goes back to 4. 4 times 3 is 12, which is repeating this one. So we don't have to write anymore, okay? We just write up to 3 times 4 is okay. Because after 3, it goes to 4. It is just repeating what we have here, okay? We call this number 1, okay? A factor of 12. We call this 12 a factor of 12. We call this 2 a factor of 12. We call this 6 a factor of 12. We call this 3 a factor of 12. We call this 4 a factors of 12. For, so for 12, it has factors. Factors of 12. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. They are the numbers. We say they are the factors of 12 because by multiplying one of them with another number, we can form back 12. This is the meaning of the factors. What number can form 12 by multiplication? This number, we call it the factors. So for 24, we can have factors 2, 3, and 4, because you can see 24 can be formed by 1 times 24, and then 2 times 12, and then 3 times 8, and then 4 times 6. 5 is not. We can have 5 times something. It gets 24. So 5 is not. And then after 5, we go back to 6. So it is repeating. We can stop here. You can see that 24, what are the factors? We can have 1 to be the factor, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24, they are all the factors of 24, okay? So you can see how we form it. We can have four times three, you will get a 12, and then times another 12, that means two groups here, you will get 24. So two, four, and three, they are all factors of 24. You will see from this expression. Now, next, we need to determine where, uh, which number is a factor of that number or which one is not, okay? So there are two ways to do it. One way is by listing out all the factors of the number. So can I ask you, what are the numbers that can form a 32? I will begin with one times 32. Yeah, four times eight, okay? It's two times 16. Is five possible? No, is six possible? Can six multiply a number to get 32? We cannot get 32, okay? So six is not possible. Seven is not possible, okay? So it goes back to eight. This is all what we can get, okay? The factors of 32, what numbers can form a 32 by multiplication? You get one, two, four. Eight is also a factor, okay? The factors, you just take every number here. You can check what are the factors. However, when I ask you, is five a factor, is seven a factor, is six a factor, it is very hard to tell. So we introduce another method. We introduce the division. We use the division to determine whether it is a factor or not. You can see that 32, it has factors, one, two, four, 8, 16, and 32. We say that all these numbers can form a 32 because when we have 32 divided by 1, we get back 32. We get an, a quotient and the remainder is 0. When we have 32 divided by 2, put 1 here, 2, 12, 6, 12, you get a remainder to a 0. When you have 32 divided by 4, you get 8. The remainder is 0. So we found that for factors, we put it into the division, all the remainder has to be zero. If it is a factor, then the remainder in the division is zero. 
So what if the remainder is not zero? We are going to check two and three. We need to check are they the factors of 14? So we use 14 divided by two, we get a seven. You can see that the remainder is zero. It means that 14, we can write it as two times seven, right? You can see that from here, two is a factor of 14 because the remainder is zero. You found that the remainder is zero, you can rewrite 14 to be two times the quotient seven. We check whether three is a factor or not. So we have 14 divided by three, three times four is 12. And then 14 minus 12, the remainder is two. The remainder is not equal to zero. So we are not able to write 14 into three times a number. It is not possible, okay? Because there is a remainder two. So we say that three is not a factor. So how to check whether it is a factor or not? First of all, you do the division. If the remainder is zero, then yes. If the remainder is not equal to zero, then no, it is not a fact. So by doing division, you can check. Now, go back to 32. When I ask you five, seven, six, are they remainder? You can check by division. 32 divided by five, okay? You will get a six and a 30. You get a remainder two, which is not zero. So it is not a factor. We have 32 divided by seven. Seven four is 28. You get a remainder four. Okay, again, it is not zero. So not a factor, not a factor for both of them because the remainder is not zero. 